I'm Bronco, and this is the Card of the Day calendar for Wednesday, August 17th. Today will be a little more subdued after the excitement on yesterday's episode. And today we're celebrating National Mail Order Catalog Day. Ooh, look at that. 850 pages of Sears goodness. Slammed down on my desk. All the scores and highlights can be found on the right side of your screen at one low price. Now let's move on to history. And I'm not talking about that mail order catalog. On this day in 1984, Pete Rose is in the Cincinnati Reds lineup for the first time in six years. And the hit king gets a single in his first at bat, goes two for four in all, and helps the Red Legs to a 6-4 victory over the Chicago Cubs at Riverfront Stadium. He was acquired from the Montreal Expos in exchange for Tom Lawless. By the way, if you don't recognize that name, search Tom Lawless bat flip. You'll thank me later. Cincinnati won the trade, but Lawless had a legendary moment in his career. Also on this day in 1999, Jesse Orozco sets the major league record for career appearances when he takes the mound for Baltimore in the Orioles' 8-3 victory over Minnesota at Camden Yards. His 1,072nd game pushes him past the Yak, Dennis Eckersley, and a lefty would go on to appear in 1,252 games in his career. Actually, I think he just pitched last night for Arizona, which gives him 1,947. Anyway, you may remember Orozco, but did you know that he earned the save in Game 7 of the 1986 World Series to clinch the title for the New York Mets? Let's move on to birthdays. Boog Powell turns 81 today, and I honestly thought the 17-year veteran played in a different era. But the longtime Baltimore Oriole broke into the big leagues in 1961 and played through 77, finishing his career with two years in Cleveland and one with the Dodgers. A four-time All-Star, he was the 1970 American League MVP, and in all, batted 266 with 339 homers, and he drove in nearly 1,200 runs. Jorge Posada turns 52 today, the Yankees catcher during four World Series championship teams was a five-time All-Star who played in 1,800 games in 17 years in the Bronx. He belted 1,664 hits, good for a 273 average, and had 275 runs while driving in more than 1,000 runs in the process. And Dustin Pedroia turns 39 today, a four-time All-Star, four-time Gold Glove winner, and the 2007 American League Rookie of the Year he was also the MVP the next season in 2008. In 14 years at the Sox, he totaled a little more than 1,800 hits, including 394 doubles, smacked 140 homers, and stole 138 bases. He wrapped up his career as a 299 hitter and helped the Red Sox win a pair of World Series rings. August is 1989 Donruss Month, and today we're featuring Charlie Huff. We are trying to highlight a few different players this month than we have in the past. I always liked knuckleball pitchers, and Huff was a good one. He pitched 25 years in the big leagues, winning and losing the same number of games, 216, while tossing 3,800 innings to the tune of a solid 3.75 earned run average. Here's a did you know. He earned the first win in the history of the Florida Marlins. And in 1989, he was 10 and 13 with a 4.35 and ERA in 30 starts for the Texas Rangers. Hope you enjoyed the card of the day calendar. If not, go to page 417 and pick yourself out something nice from that Sears catalog. I'm Bronco. Sports out.